Hey guys, it's Tia. Welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be introducing seven free design tools which are perfect for print on demand or just general graphic design or making a logo web design, that kind of thing. And these are really good for commercial design. So some of them have specific features. There's probably gonna be a few you haven't heard of before. Some of them you can use on mobile as well. Now these are gonna be either 100% free, so that's open source software, browser software, or tools that have a premium subscription available, but you can actually use the free one um, to a pretty good extent. So you're not like completely crippled without a premium subscription. I do have links in the description and on my website to some of these software and on some of them, if you wanna upgrade, then I will get a commission on that. So that's always much appreciated if you do. But as I said, the free version of these tools is pretty functional, so it's up to you. Now the first one, as you can see here, is called Design Evo and they have really cool templates. You can just start from scratch. This is a program designed for logos and also print on demand design. So shirts and logos are very similar type of thing. Um, and you have all these kind of icons that you can use and also text shapes and backgrounds. But what I really like is their templates. So they have a range of really awesome templates that you can customize. They're fully editable so you can edit uh, the text and you can change the icons as well and all the shapes and different colors. Now for download, these are available commercially, but the free version is a little bit limited in that you don't have copyright ownership. So you're gonna have to credit this Design Evo software if you want to use this on a shirt. If you want to buy your design commercially, then you're gonna have to uh, download these separately. And the free version may not be very high resolution, but what you can do is literally just screenshot this. Remember, you're gonna to have to credit. You can also make an account and save your files on here as well. The next one is called Gravit.io. And what I really like about this is that they have specific design uh, templates and design tools for print on demand. So this is a Merch by Amazon shirt, for example. You have all these dimensions here, so you can actually design on here and see what it would look like on the shirt itself. So if you go to create a new document, you can actually have a lot of different types of specific print on demand designs, and these are all optimized for the sites, okay? For example, this is a Redbubble design template, and then designing on the shirt itself, I think is really helpful for seeing what it's gonna look like. They do have a free version and a pro version, and when you sign up, you get a 15 day free trial of the pro version as well. But the free version, I think, has quite a lot of functionality already. I mean, these things, do you necessarily need them to work offline, touch screen? support. You have less storage, but you can still you know, download it. You don't have to keep it on your account. So it's not that limited, the free version. I think the PDF export is a bit strange, but as I said, you can just screenshot your design after you've made it. We'll zoom in first and then screenshot, and that will give you near enough a higher quality image. Now the next print on demand design tool is Creative Fabrica. Um, I don't really think this is a design tool as such, it's more just a marketplace full of a lot of different assets. And by a lot, I mean they have really quite a lot. If you get the all access subscription using my link down in the description, you can get every single one of their 3 million assets for just $1 for one month now. I've done a review on my website and I'll be talking about um, comparing the prices there. I think the $1 for one month is a complete steal, so make sure you go grab that if you haven't already. If we're talking completely free assets, then they also have a lot of those as well. In fact, they have over 42K freebies, so these are completely free fonts. Graphics, they also have pre-made shirt designs and SVGs. Also some creative classes. I don't think these are very relevant to print on demand, but you can have a look at those as well because they are free. Um, and I have done a review on my website, a full review if you want to check that out. I'll put that in the description as well. Now the next tool is called Inkscape and this is a completely free open source software which you do have to download. Um, so it's not an in-browser tool, but it is pretty cool. And if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, um, or if you can't afford Illustrator, then this is a very good replacement. So what this software looks like is you have this canvas and everything you do on here. So for example, if I draw some lines as I've done here, um, these will all be vector images. Okay, so what that means is if you zoom in, they're not gonna become blurry. If you have PNGs and JPEGs, then the more you zoom in, the more blurry it will become because it's all made via pixels. Um, but this is not, this is a vector image, okay? So it's an SVG file and if you zoom in, um, you're not gonna get any blurring because it doesn't work based on pixels. For that reason, this is obviously very useful for logo design or for creating designs with very high resolution. Pretty good free Illustrator replacement if you don't have that. Now the next software is the one 
most of us know and love, which is Canva, and I would definitely recommend Canva. I actually have a whole video on how I use it for print on demand design, but basically they have a lot of elements and I re also really like the text. They have a lot of cool graphic design fonts that really pop out and stand out if you're trying to make a t-shirt. They're not the typical uh, Microsoft fonts. So really awesome fonts and also templates. So you can make uh, shirt designs or social media logos, presentations. I've used Canva for some YouTube video presentations before. You can actually make videos as well. You've got elements. So these are uh, just little icons that they've scraped off the internet. Uh, do be careful about commercial usage licensing uh, with these because you might not be able to use them commercially all the time. You don't really know where they've come from. Um, but if you get Canva Pro, then you can freely use these commercially. So they have a lot of other things like charts, frames. So if you want to put a photo, for example, if you're making a resume, you can put your photo in here and it will take that shape. And it's just an all round really good open source software for graphic design, which doesn't cripple you if you don't have the premium version. Our next one is called Photopea, and this is basically an in-browser version of Photoshop. It's really easy to use and it's really cool. Um, it's actually a lot more simple to use than Photoshop. It has all the main features that you use in Photoshop anyway. You can uh, create layer masks and a bit more advanced things like that as well, straight in your browser. And what I found this to be really useful for is removing the background. So for example, if I got something from uh, Design Evo or Canva, delete the background and how I would do that is you have a magic wand tool here. So that lets you select uh, a chunk of color and then you can delete that chunk of the same color. So if you have a white background, then you can just select it and then delete the background. And it's really important to have transparent PNGs with no background for your print on demand designs because it just looks more professional, but it's not just good for removing backgrounds. So complete in browser Photoshop basically. So you've got all these other tools that you can use. And what I would recommend is pairing this up with another design tool that actually has all the assets like Creative Fabrica and Canva, taking the design here um, and doing stuff to it. So for example, removing the background, drawing on it, you can edit all with Photopea. And the last one is more a photo oriented editor, but if you don't have a cool photo editor and you don't wanna just keep on using Instagram, to edit your photos, then this is a really cool in-browser editor. What this lets you do is uh, basically do all the typical photo retouching stuff. So you can airbrush stuff out on people's faces and you can also crop. So this is all really standard stuff, right? Change the saturation exposure, editor, but also you can liquefy. And I love the liquefy tool because if you have done the drawing, for example, and one of the eyes isn't even or something like that, then you can just use this to change it really quickly. And it's like a Photoshop functionality. So you can drag bits and uh, distort bits of your photo really easily. You can do that in Photopea as well, but it's not as uh, good as this tool, I think. And if you want to edit photos, then this is definitely a go-to tool. Okay, so that is it for this video. Hopefully you found at least one tool that you haven't heard of before and go and try it. So give this video a like if you learned something new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter down in the description. And also go to my website, ttxbiz.com for more free, helpful content. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.